morning, everyone. How's it going? Uh, happy Wednesday. Hope you all are having a good day. Uh, we're just getting kicking off things here. Richard is finishing up some work in the other room. And um, so, yeah, he's just finishing up uh, some work in the other room. Hello. Uh, let's see. Who have we got? We've got Face All Chowdhury. Did I say that right? A new person. Welcome, Maximus. We got Nicholas Phillips. Mini Fig Chick is here. Shane Levin. Johnny Cat is here. Hey, Johnny. Jason Seacrest. Jake Animation Studios. Mythic Bricks. Jackson Desai is here. Uh, Joshua Zender. Jake Potter. Did I get everybody? I hope so. Uh, Chris Rowland. Hello. How's it going? So good to see everybody. So glad you're here. On our uh, on our feed today on a on a Wednesday, oh, it was so sunny yesterday and it's gotten dreary today. Well, I, super treat everybody for today, and I'm sure you can see what it is we're going to be building today. Hey, built from bricks, how's it going? Yes, it was fun last night. Thank you so much for having us on. Uh, if y'all haven't check out built from bricks uh, stream, he's got some really great stuff. He was interviewing a bunch of. Uh, the Lego Masters last night, it was fun. To hey, I said it right. Awesome. I'm so glad. We'll see if it happens another time. Hey, Zara Kino, how's it going? I'm glad your daughter's watching with you. Hi, how's it going? Hi, Steve and Marilyn. Uh, so, Brick Builder Blue, how's it going? So, we have a real treat for you today. Um, we are putting together this Lego Studios Vampires Crypt from 2002. This is a really, really cool set, and I was actually, I went and was looking for photos of it to put in the little, in the little thing down here, there, and um, I, I, you know, of course, all the eBay listings came up. This goes for crazy money on eBay. I couldn't believe it. So a big thanks to our friend Drew. I don't know if he's here, but a big thanks to our friend Drew for um, providing this for us to put together, because, like, what an incredible, cool uh, set. And I think what we'll do is we'll finish off the week um, building one of the other sets in this, um, which is the the Frankenstein's lab part of it. So I'm really, really excited about this. I think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a fun build. So let's see. I've got my coffee here. I hope everybody here is um, is ready to go. Get your bricks in front of you if you're building. Uh, get your set out if you're building along. And I'll take this opportunity uh, to real quick... Oh, thank you, Brick Builder Blue. Yes, I wore the, the proper shirt for the occasion. This is by Will Heron. Um, you can... You, I think you can find him on Instagram, Will Heron Designs or Will Heron Art. I can't remember. And while I'm shouting out awesome artists, I want to shout out to Kevin Hinkle for designing our new logo art. Really amazing stuff. He did an incredible, um, incredible, incredible job doing, um, catching our likenesses as minifigures. Uh, it was just, <laughs> like, super fun. I was really excited about it. So let's see. I've got, um, I think I'm going to need a knife to open this up. So here's a, here's a difference between this has got a, um, even though this is a large box, it has, um, and I'll go here, I'll go down to the, um, see what's happening here I want to show you that like this has got the the sort of like finger press I don't know if you can see that it's uh yeah I don't think you can see it but if there's like a perforated area for you to like press at press down <laughs> your um to press down the you know the thumb tab sorry I'm just doing an adjustment here real quick there we go an adjustment to the thumb tab, um, so that you can pull, you can push it down and pull the side off. Hey, Jordan Sender, how's it going? Uh, so I'm gonna transition over here to our top-down camera, and you can see. I don't know if you can see it any better now, but here it is. Um, so should I open it as intended, or should I, um, <laughs> should I just like take a knife and? Kind of slice around the top. I'm going to take it as in, as it intended. Hey, Jason Seacrest. Uh oh, I can hear Richard is going to get a knife. I think that means we're going to be opening it up with a knife so that we have a nice clean flap. We're going to protect the <laughs> packaging on this one. Oh, and we're going to use my really nice paring knife for this. We don't have to. <laughs> no, it's okay. 
it's deserving. Uh, this this Lego set is deserving of a good knife to open it. Well, I I can't tell you how excited I am about that. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm so glad you decided to join us today. I, did, am I saying it right again? Face all. Did I, I hope I said it right. I'm glad you're enjoying uh, the stream. Oh. Oh, well, it cut a little bit of the box, but guess what? I'm not selling this anyway, so it's fine. And let's take a look inside the box. It's got the old kind of bag with, like, the perforations on it. Um, no numbers on the bags. It's just uh, things you've got. Oh, here. Oh, the stickers. The stickers are super cool. I will, um, here, I'll switch to this camera so you can see the stickers a little bit better. But look at those. That's for the sides of the coffin right <laughs> so uh it comes with a couple plates one long brick uh it comes with oh look at this check this out here i'll switch uh this has got like it's like a little cardboard slide in piece you don't really see that anymore and it's got this great like shield with a dragon on it some books on a shelf a couple of bats a candle and then the other side has like a kooky sort of window with a with a dog with a dog uh, bowl that says wolf on it with a bone in it and a spooky tree that was so it was pretty cool i did an okay it was an okay it was an okay cut <laughs> just don't go back and look at the re at the redo okay so a couple of other cool things about this um not only did it come does it you know it's got the instruction booklet all right and but it also came with some other things. So it came with your Lego Shop at Home uh, postcard, and you would open it up, and it you would could order yeah you could order your free Lego catalog by filling out this postcard and then sending it in. This was 2002, all right, and you could sign up for your Lego magazine. Um, no, just the just the just the catalog, or you could call toll free. Like on an actual telephone. <laughs> That's okay, The Brick Show. Don't worry about it. We've all, everybody's working on. Um, if you want to know, we are running a building contest where we're going to be giving away um, a, uh, a Batman 89 limited edition gift with purchase. It's the smaller of the 89 Batmobiles. It's a superhero build contest. If you're interested, all of the details are in the description below uh, of the, the description of this video. You have until tomorrow at noon to finish up and send it in, um, either via email or posting it on um, Instagram and tagging us or using the hashtag Tricky Bricks Build Contest. All right, so let's check this out. We've got, um, I think this is worth looking at, don't y'all? 2002 Lego catalog that came in, like little mini catalog. All right, so we've got our Star Wars. We have our Star Wars here, all right? Mm -hmm. Helpful. Yeah, so we've got a uh, Super Battle Droid, Django Fett, Tusken Raider Encounter, Jedi Duel, Bounty Hunter Pursuit, a Jedi Starfighter, Django Fett Slave One, the Slave One from 2002, and then new for 2002, the Republic Gunship. All right. So, um, so are y'all interested in seeing this catalog, or should I just move on to building? I don't know. This might be boring for people. I think it's kind of cool. I like cool. seeing the stuff that they were putting out then. Because I went, hey, uh-oh. It is one of the most revered and most hated, <laughs> um, from, what I've, from what I've heard from people, just like people's reaction, Galador. There's Galador in here. Um, Nick Bluetooth? That was his name for reals? Uh, Euripides, Nepal, Gorm, Jens, Allegra, and Kiwop. Wow, this is crazy. And I can see why it didn't do so well, I think. <laughs> I think it was very short-lived. It's got these weird, like, G.I. Joe, Barbie sort of things, right? Um, good. Okay, good. I'm glad people are liking it. We'll keep going through. All right, let's see. So we've got Lego Software PC CD-ROM, you guys. A PC CD-ROM and Game Boy Advance. So if that tells you. Um, Lego Soccer. And... It's got these little soccer field. It's got the soccer fields you could put together, and then it had those weird little things on the um, the. You could like flip the ball. It was like this weird little springy flicker thing. I had a couple of these plates from this when I first started collecting Lego, 
and I didn't really know what they were, and I and I um, ended up giving the plates away. But honestly, I don't think I would have used them anyway. Whoa, Harry Potter! We've got the Harry Potter 2002 layout. Look at this. This is so cool. We've got um, the the set with the glow in the dark Snape which we actually have in the closet back there. We've got the 2002 Hogwarts Express, which I have over there in a box. Um, let's see, what else have we got here? The, the Mirror of Erised. Now, it's interesting. These ones aren't labeled. They're only... Um, they're, they just have the number. They don't say what they actually are. So this is obviously Hogwarts Castle. And this is the... Oh, the Flying Keys, it looks like. The, yeah, the Flying Keys and Hagrid's hut, um, and, and uh, yeah, the mirror, and what is this? This Oh, the, the um, with Fluffy, with the three-headed dog. I would love to get my hands on one of those three-headed dogs. That would be so cool. Um, oh, and here we have the, the bathroom with the troll. I love that they have the bathroom with the troll. Uh, the Gringotts Bank with a safe, it comes with a safe and a little mine cart. And then this little, I don't know, was this like, does anybody know, was this like a poly bag or something? 4711, it's like a really tiny set with, um, it looks like Malfoy and, oh, with uh, with the Remember All. Anyway, so the magic continues according to this, and I think this is the, um, the Lego Harry Potter video game. Whoa, Jack Stone. I only just recently heard about uh, about Jack Stone. Check this out. He's got like all of his adventuring gear. And again, that kind of like not quite minifigure jointed body. Really weird. Um, we've got Alpha Team, which looks like it's an early, I don't know if it's before or after Atlantis. Um, this, But this looks like another sort of like underwater theme. Island Extreme Stunts. I've never heard of any of these. This is crazy. Island Extreme Stunts. We've got the racing the racing cars. More racing cars. Okay, now here's the studio stuff that we've got. So we've got one that looks like there's a, oh, a giant, like, Godzilla-type monster. And then we've got the rest of the, the little, the monster setups. And then we have Spy, spy Botics. Have y'all heard about all this stuff? Maybe you're younger than me and you know about this stuff, but I never heard of spy botics in the time that I've been in, in, in the hobby. I gotta say, this is not something I've seen. Weird cars with like gear. Okay, now Bionicle. I know Bionicle. <laughs> I understand that. Bionicle, I understand. Um, oh, we got some Lego trains here. Oh, some Game Boy Advance uh pages for Bionicle and Galador. Yeah, and then Legoland and Lego, you can get your Lego outfit. Oh, and then here, of course, is your way to join the Lego club. You would sign in for your membership and actually mail it through the mail. Um, and there you go. And then, yeah, you can mail it through the bear. Yes, I want to join the U.S. Lego club. Or you could join... Yes, I guess this is the European for the European one in the back because there's multiple languages. So, wow, what a cool treat, right? That that came along with all the stuff that we with all this other cool stuff. As if the set wasn't enough, the set was worth it just for the booklet. It really was. Um, uh, let's see, Rip Nick on Planet Ripple's videos for retired themes. All right, I'll check that out. Um, what is your favorite set, says BJ. BJ, my favorite set is the Monster Fighters Haunted House, which you can see, I always do that. You can see up here behind me. Uh, it's one of the first, it's actually the first set that we put together when we started doing these live streams three and a half weeks ago on Instagram. Um, that was a lot of fun. What a cool set. And then I also love um, Ninjago City, which is right there behind me. Um, those, are, those are probably two of my favorites. All right, well then, hey, let's get to it and start seeing. Now, this isn't a super complicated set, and like I said, it's um, kind of not numbered or anything. Okay, so it's so funny. I have a lot of these pieces of, in my collection and always wondered where they came from, like these weird, like, column trusses, right? It's so weird. Here, oh, look at that. We can get up close and personal. 
So we have all of our all of our pieces here. Check this awesome. Check the awesome vampire um, coffin out. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, I answered your brother's question. Okay, great. Very good. Thank you, BJ's brother. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, Jason, when did we start first started getting into Lego? Lego as a hobby, we started about four years ago. Um, we picked up some we picked up some cool sets online, um, and or actually, I went into the store and bought a set, and then we ended up going online and buying like bulk Lego uh, for a bunch of things. Wow, this is so funny. I'm completely lost here without Richard. He's the one that organizes everything, so I'm here. He's. <laughs> Did you like that? Oh, and it looks like this is also the old gray color, right? This isn't the newer the newer gray. I could be wrong. Oh, excuse me. All right, and I even did my vampire sneeze. I hope you noticed. <laughs> um, maybe you miss it during Lego Masters or something, but what did you do? What do you two do for work? Well, um, before uh, in the before times, I, I used to teach... Um, Lego engineering classes to, um, uh, and thank you, uh, proper, uh, I used to teach Lego engineering classes to kindergarten through sixth graders. So um, I'm really um, missing teaching classes, I gotta say. All the schools are closed here in California and are gonna remain closed, I found out yesterday through the end of the semester, um, officially announced. So let's see what we got here. This always means, you know, something fabric. So, uh, I won't let, I'm not going to let you watch me mangle this. There we go. <laughs> it, yeah, it is. It's a paying job. I do, I do classes, after school classes and summer camps. All right, so it looks like it's um, Dracula's cape. And you'll notice that the, that the, um, the collar, the stick-up collar piece and the cape are attached. And I think in the newer, like the newer ones when, we, when they do this, it's two separate pieces. So that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna switch back over to let's see. Oh my goodness. This one's kind of tough to open. This is like way t I have to say this is way tougher to open than um <laughs> Yes, and it's double sided, Drew. It is double sided. Red on one side and black, which is now sort of faded to a weird purple color. It's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna switch back over to this one so that we can see a little bit more what we got going on here. The close-up camera is very close up today, I've noticed. Hey, remember you've um, got um, hotkeys too. I do have hotkeys now. The only thing with the hotkeys is that they're not, um, it's further for me to reach. I have to, so, as you know, if you've been watching um, this from the beginning, it's only been, what, like a week and a half we've been on YouTube. So we're slowly coming up to speed on uh, all the technical, like all the technical stuff. <laughs> oh, and here's Richard to help Hello. organize things. Thank goodness, because I'm useless at that. I've well, got you most covered of the... up all your build space here. I have. Right? Well, I, I have. Here, you know? I'll, I'll open this up. A little. So... Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Hi. I was just getting some technical drawings together, making probably too many notes and sending off a probably too long email. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Fuzzy Brick Studio says this, what is that hand for? Well, oh. again, if you've been with us in the, if you had, <laughs> we're in our first couple of episodes, um, we hadn't figured out how to control the camera yet, so the it was auto, -focus, auto right? it was auto focusing everything. And um, every time we'd put our hand in, it would change focus. For our yeah, hand. so we we used the mannequin hand to kind of like keep the focus focused, and people thought it was hilarious, and so they asked us to keep it in. So she just now yeah. she did serve a purpose. Yeah. Now she just kind of holds things. She has dots <laughs> bracelets too. <laughs> there. But you, you only see her fingers a little now. She's an echo of long ago last week. I know, long ago last week. Okay, so check it out. We've got our minifigs now. 
Um, and now I am going to switch back over to the close-up cam, but here, let's, you can um, see it. Let's give each other a little bit more elbow room. Just a touch. There we go. That's great. Thanks. Um, all right. So it, <laughs> it's Miz thing. <laughs> Why we didn't think about Wait, that a week Miz. and a half ago? Miz. Miz. It is of Miz. Of course. So, so something else I want you to notice at these, with this older set is that it's, um, the heads are already on the minifigures. Like now, oh how funny! Right, the heads, the heads come separate, but um, they are already on. We've got a set of um, black leg, two sets of black legs. Oh, you know, I love these. Um, I love these studio ones because they come with technical shirts for all of the crew. Like they all have walking. And that one has bats all over it, like a lanyard. <laughs> Hey, Santa de Valle, how's it going? I hope I said that right. Um, yeah, the hand. You did forget, <laughs> Bill from Briggs, you did forget to show. I didn't show the hand last night. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really funny, though. Um, so, uh, Chris Rowland asks, um, what was it like on set of Lego Masters? Did you actually have to build, like, eight hours straight, and will you go back for the finale? Um, uh, well, first of all, everything's already been filmed. We stopped filming in December. Yeah, so, so everything's already, um, that's already done. Yep, um, everyone's done with it. Yeah. Um, but we did get uh, meal breaks. Usually every five hours or so, they would let us have a meal. Um, but bathroom breaks were all on the clock. So if you went, you went quickly. Yeah, and it was, I mean, they were, they were undoubtedly long days. Um, yeah, we had we had one that was like fifteen hours, I think. the The Mega City build was super long. Yeah, we, we were all punchy and singing songs by the end. Oh, good! I said it right. Ah, that's awesome. We do it all right. Um, yeah, I've said two names that I oh, wasn't cool. sure how to pronounce the correct way. I'm two for two. This is awesome. Let's oh, hope we look can at keep this. this streak going. Look at these. Oh, here. I'll oh, show here. Them up here. Um, it's okay. Here, I wanted These to actually show. Pieces, yeah, we were looking at those earlier. they have a registration pin. Really? They're really cool. Oh, yeah, so when pins. I was in way over when you were way over in the other room, before yeah. I commuted to the dining room. So check this out. It has a tile with like stinky garlic on it, oh, and it even has stink no, lines. No vampires. No vampires. It even has stink lines. Well, I hope, I hope it's a prop because our... Um, do we have the new Lego? We do have a lot of new Lego, but are you referring to a set in particular? Um, would we return for an all-star edition? Absolutely we would. It yeah, was, um, we would We had that, a fun... Sure. If for no other reason than just to see... <laughs> um, and actually, Minifig Chick, um, if you need this tile, I have one already in our printed tiles. You are welcome to, and um, I'll keep this one. Okay, so here is my reason... One of the reasons I love, actually, if not the main reason why I'm so excited about this set, is there, there is this, um, like, Quasimodo, like, Igor minifigure um, with a really messed up face. <laughs> That's, like, maybe my favorite minifigure <laughs> face I've ever seen. Hey, Jordan Zender, how's it going? Welcome. Camden Hill, Welcome. I like these, um, these early ones, too, because it, it's not very far from the smiley face, you know? But the, this guy has a more of, like, a now-style Lego yeah, face. Yeah, he's got a snarky look. Yeah. So. Um, oh, well, I want to put the... You know, the Dracula's cape yes. on. <laughs> For some reason, he's got three... Oh, I see. Yeah, wow, they're connected. Oh, it's, because it goes up. Yeah, it's it pops up. It's connected over there. And they, I think it's... The regular inside. Oh, wait. Here, I'll build underneath <laughs> the camera so people can see what we're doing. So I would think that it would cross like that. Oh, yeah, and, but then the you, red goes, and then you pop it up. Right, but the, the, red, I goes think the red goes in. on the inside. So you've seen monster movies before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bye, Santi. I'm so glad that you joined us. Thank you so much. Enjoy your lunch. Um, the new creator Lego set. If you're talking about the bookshop, no. And I want yeah, it. Yeah, we want that. We one. want that real bad. Um, and okay, let's see. do any of them? Oh, get and he hair? does have two faces. The vampire does have two faces, y'all. In case you were worried, I want you to know. Oh, and he's got um, that. Hey, Moto, how's it going? So he's got like smiley face on the front, and then like evil smiley face on the back. 
And of course, I'm going to have to do the evil smiley face. Yeah, and here we'll give him his hair. Oh, and he's got his hair, which ended up being like, which ended up being like Wolverine's hair later. Oh, like, yeah, that's, pretty this much. Is the, this is the hair that they now use for the Wolverine, you know, like for Wolverine's minifigure. Oh, I like this close-up um, view. Do we have the movie theater set? We do. It's one of the first yep. modulars we ever got. And yes. I really love it. It's just Something sort of right over off there. camera where you can't but see But we it. keep stealing pieces from it. Sets that have been around too long get pieces stolen from them. From yeah, us. that's why we have to put the ones we really want in a glass case so that we don't I go know. in and bother. Okay, so there's his cape. Oh, I love his sort of band leader... His, you know, yeah, his jacket is pretty awesome. Thing. I gotta say, he's got a good he's got a good jacket print. Yep. All right, so here's a bunch of little pieces. Oh, look at this. So, oh yeah, here comes, show that. Uh, where is it? Right there. Yep. Right there. All right, there we go. There Thank we go. you. Uh, <laughs> what <are> you... <laughs> okay, good. We're catching up here. There we go. But this little spool here has like four rubber bands on it. And I can tell right now they have a flat profile, so they're not the same as the O-ring rubber bands that come for pulleys. Yeah, yeah. These are – and what a cool little – I always see these pieces in um, bulk bins, and yeah. I never know what they are. But, yeah, they came to store these rubber bands on. And what a great thing to have, y'all. One, two, three, four Lego rubber bands. That's yep. pretty awesome. Yep. Yeah, there are a lot of great printed torsos in this set. I still – all right, we got, a subscriber. we got a subscriber who's it's oh I can't read it. Pookie Stud, welcome. Right Pookie on. Stud, thanks for the subscription. Thank you so much. We are trying to get up to a thousand uh followers. Oh look at that. I accidentally pressed the, the mouse and we got back over here. That's fine. All right. Um but we, we are trying to get to a thousand followers because when you hit a thousand followers on YouTube, you can start doing Things to like, you can have guests on, and you can start doing more engagement. We can reach out to people more. Whoa, another subscription! That's thank awesome. you. Who we got? Camden Will. Thank you so much. Appreciate Camden Hill. Thank you. All right, go have uh -oh. lunch. Be come back later. We will oh. be here. Um, Logan's very excited because of oh, all the shouting hi. for subscription. Yeah, see, he gets whenever <laughs> we start shouting, he gets really excited, and he knocks some pieces on the ground because he's helping. Okay. Oh, oh, goodness. Okay, so we're going to do Logan cookie time early today. Now? Yeah, I okay. think so. What are we... Well, we're... Ha we're... All right, so we've got this mostly divided up. The little pieces aren't divided up yet because we keep sort of getting distracted. Oh, hey, Christopher uh, from UK. How's it going? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. And um, so if you're just joining us, we're putting together this amazing vintage Lego Studios um, Vampire's Crypt set. And we looked through the catalog earlier, and if you missed out, you should definitely go back and check out the video from earlier because it had some it had some really awesome stuff in that catalog. Um, all right, okay, so, so just for a moment here because he's going to lose his mind. Okay, Logan, wait, let's uh, here we we got okay, go, we'll go to go um, the front one. We're going <laughs> to get a graphic for this. Too. Yes, okay, it's Logan, Logan Cookie what? Time! Yay! Yay, Logan! Logan Cookie Time! See that happy sound of crunching. <laughs> I gave him Triscuits today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to make Good dog boy. cookies, though. We're, we're out of them, so he's rationing it's as well. It's true. Huh. So I'm going to make a bunch of delicious ones. Oh, Good boy. All right, Camden, welcome back. All right, so... All right, I think we sh it's time that we get started on this. And, of course, okay. oh, he wants more... Uh, oh, no, nope. no, there It's are, only one Logan no cookie time on Sorry. camera per day. Yep. Sorry, buddy. There you go. All right. So it's starting us off with, um, have we read any of the Lego books? I haven't read any of the Lego... Um, well, instruction books, yeah. But the, actual, the actual Lego books. I have some for my students uh, that I let them read while we're waiting for class to start. But I don't actually have... Um, I haven't actually read, sat down and read them myself. Oh, so we're halfway in so, and we've just basically nulled stuff out. Yeah, but we were we looked at the catalog earlier, which was oh, very was exciting. Cool. Um, so... We're gonna we we're kicking off. It's having us put together the cough, uh, you know, Dracula's coffin. And I don't know if you saw the um, what I posted on Instagram today, but on our Instagram I posted the sort of the vampire um, face sculpture that I had done. So I thought that was oh, a fun, yeah. it worked out well that we were doing uh, that we were doing this today. All right, Flynn did a, a series of movie monsters, and the werewolf on it is on our back up here. Uh, oh yeah, behind us, back the werewolf on the clock. face. 
is a carved wooden face on the front of the clock. All right, so it looks like we're kicking off by building a... And now this is one of those old um, ones where black looks like dark gray. And we're using some of that sand uh, blue color, that yep. like yep. like almost blue gray. Here, I'm gonna grab these over here. Is that blue? Is that brown coffin only ever seen black and gray? I'm not sure. I this one I'm not sure about. Now there's another one that's just like a flat black one that has decorations around the outside that's yeah. flat on the top. It doesn't have the actual like. I love Dracula. this. Has the vampire on it with his hair and his face? I know. It's so weird. It's, it's like, like a, a mummy chocolate. thing. All right, so the first thing we're doing is building a little cart. You mean it a looks sarcophagus, like. a, um, a mummy thing. <laughs> Did I just say that? <laughs> it looks like a mummy thing. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was All right then. I was talking so fast that I didn't pay attention. <laughs> This is what happens. We know mythology. I just... Oh, and 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 I understand the Egyptians were real people. Too. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, well, but those come and still with it. and still are <laughs> and still are. It's true. All right, so we are going to continue on building our little cart here. Oh, this is a pretty simple little piece, and we've got that. Where is that little? Here, do you want this? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but, but I, I bet you looking, will. It's got I'm like looking for the one wheel cut out. Oh, one with the, the small axles. Little, small axles on the back. Very good. And then we've got two wagon wheels. Cool. I like and those goes on the other side. Yes, it is time for a Barnabas Collins mock. It always is time oh, for a, yeah. A... <laughs> well, you did a spooky family, and you just have to give the dad his vignette. Yeah, right? they've all had their vignettes. You have you see seen the on... spooky family from our <laughs> Instagram? Instagram? They are on Instagram. They're great. We did a we did a big gothic mansion out of um, masonry bricks, dark red yes. masonry bricks, and with a spooky greenhouse on the side. And then Flynn did adventure photo or like family portraits of, <laughs> of a spooky sort of Adam's of like family s. Yeah. All right. So it looks like now we're gonna build the um, the part that has that little cardboard insert that I was telling you about. Oh. So, uh, so yeah, this thing we have this this funny little well, that's a cardboard funny insert. thing for Lego. That's right? awesome. Yeah. All right, so we are looking for a very long two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Should be the only two by. Oh, that's right, it's black. So yeah, check it this looks out, everybody. Like dark gray. This looks. I'm sorry, like that looks like dark gray. That does not look like black. <laughs> so I'm looking for dark gray when I should be looking for black. All right, so okay, and then make here, a little yeah the thing. Then we're going to use two by four. I guess that's these. Is that this thing? Oh, yeah. That 2x4? Is that what a 2x4 looks like? Well, what I mean is... Um, <laughs> I had no idea. I don't. I what no I mean idea. is, do we have an... Yes, we have another one. There you go. Look at that. Very exciting. And then... Why well, I put two bricks on. And then some cylinders. Mm-hmm. On the inside. Yep. Oh, oh, and then we've got these two, we've got the two um, columns here. Those things are great. Unfortunately, these pins break off really they easily. They do break off really easily. It's it's a bummer. But here, I'll, we'll lay this down so you can kind of see what the progress looks like. Yes, yeah, some columns you can put an axle in, like, <laughs> like yeah, those these ones you can, you can I don't put think, an axle in. And these old ones, I just noticed a difference here. Um, these old ones don't have a hole going all the way through. In the new ones, you can put an axle in there and really secure them together, but only a too long um, axle would fit in there. You have weird spider web looking wheels. Spider web wheels? I want Whoa. that. What do those look like, uh, Joshua? I would love to see what that looks like. All right, so I want everybody, so I just want you to notice that, do you see how these columns have these little kind of grooves in them? Oh. Well, that is how our um, our backdrop, because remember, this is, this is, like, not an actual, like, monster set. This is a movie of, they are filming right. Dracula, right? They're filming the va a vampire's crypt. 
So um, the little the little cardboard thing slides. That's great. Slides in to those little grooves. Um, and I love the um, the that they put Lego skulls under. Yes, the <laughs> under shelf. the book, holding up the bookshelf. <laughs> um, all right. So, oh, okay. So they're having us put these um, little slopes oh. on here, and that pin fits right into the hole. I learned a in thing. In the bottom. Look at that. You learned a thing. I did. <laughs> <laughs> if we can all learn something every day. Um, so we're to assume the minifigures are actors. Exactly. Um, yes. Although, I'm sorry. Like, I, I, Let's just hope that that's, you know, that's special effects makeup. Because otherwise... That is Lon Chaney He's right going to get some... He's He'll get some work. So who, who <laughs> was it? Who was it who was in... Not Shut... Was it Shadow of the Vampire? Yes, it uh, was. Oh, was um, that Mark Willem Landau? Was, Willem Dafoe was in Shadow of the Vampire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think you're thinking of, um, uh, golly, the Tim Burton movie. Ed Wood. Ed Wood. There you yeah, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I love, by the way. Um, not so much the the Dark Shadows. We won't talk Whoa, about that, though. I love this greenish dark gray. Yeah, this is the old gray. This yeah. is the before they changed the color of it. It goes so really nicely a different with, color, the, with right? the light gray. Um, I have a question. What made you start Lego? Uh, what made us start Lego is we were looking for something to do that wasn't... Um, I, I'm sorry if you've heard the story before and if you've been on here before. I know that, you have. That's why he's out there right um, now, the Sentinel. Yeah, so we've got, um, we picked up this, yeah, we picked up this X-Men set, X-Men versus the Sentinel for something to do, and really that's how we got started. Yeah, was... Flynn had this, <laughs> just wa this idea, like, oh, why don't we do that rather than stare at the screen for a while. Yes, Christopher, the, the Dark Shadows movie was rubbish, and the less oh, said about goodness. it, the better, because I, that is one of the big, well, you know, and I knew it was going to be terrible when, when I watched it, but I wasn't. I was so sad. See, I think it was... Because I love that show so much. It's so ridiculous. It was at least as good as the Haunted Mansion movie. <laughs> Another counting, terrible I have to thing. Count, I have to count to ten terrible. now because that really just... You're going to send me over it the was edge terrible. with this business. All right, so we're looking for a jump plate. I guess it's a black jump plate. Yeah, we have a bunch of them. Here's one. Okay, so black jump plate here... And then, of course, the a spooky famous bat. Lego bat that goes on the top. One <laughs> oh, bat. man, Shane, what we do in the shadows, we started watching that last what? night. What? I love what it. It is was going so on good. That show is hilarious. Like, I knew it's there was really a movie, funny. and I had seen a little bit of the movie, but that TV show... And that guy from the office who plays the um, <laughs> the energy vampire, the psychic vampire, kills me. It was so good. He is so funny. We like, laughed does, so hard. It bores people to tears because he's a psychic vampire. <laughs> and then once so, he, now, no, won't give too much away for people well, who haven't okay, seen it. Okay, this won't give away too much. Like after <laughs> he's done boring someone to tears in the office, he turns to the camera <laughs> because it's like you know fourth wall, and he goes. <laughs> like this. And he's like this ridiculous, um, you know, like super office nerd. Yeah. Oh, so you played the Haunted Mansion really game. It was actually good. Now, which Haunted Mansion game are you talking about? Are you talking about the video game or are you talking about the old board game, which I actually have a copy of and it's in Excuse terrible me, shape, but I have a copy of that, um, of that game and it is super cool and I'll probably show it on the stream sometime. We have a bunch um, of board games. When you get, uh... uh Yes, vampire. Uh, yeah, well, yes, we're really so looking for. Yeah, the video game. I did play the video game. I I actually enjoyed it. But you know, I'm a big haunted mansion freak, so I I will pretty much like anything that they do with it. But of course, I really hated the movie. That was just terrible. Flynn curated a haunted mansion themed art show. Yes, it's true. A actually, long time ago. Gosh, yeah, everyone like... and and Tennessee Loveless made pieces in that, right? Um, he did not do that one. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, That's sorry, okay. sorry. No, he he had a different showing have the, at the same gallery. Though, the right? little rocker hinge. Is there a rocker, rocker hinge around? Hinge. That's what we call them. We have our own little like weird uh, Lego yes. language. Here's one. Okay. I don't even know what they would call this. Some so, kind of like. 
plate modified. Plate modified thing with hinge. Everything's <laughs> plate modified. <clears throat> hey, Shane McQueen, welcome. Um, oh, yeah, the three of the guys. Well, I know Matt Barry from the IT crowd, which I love. Um, we're big fans of the IT crowd. Oh, yeah, he's that um, bombastic he's guy. The guy. He's the crazy boss, and he is hilarious. Um, I love him on that. And so I was just super excited when I saw him on the credits for this. I'd laugh out loud from that show. Though. Yeah, the I do IT too. Crowd. Oh, yeah, me too. That's another one. <laughs> okay, Camden Hill, go, <laughs> I'll see you around. Um, all right. Are we missing a layer of um, so, things behind the laptop here? I don't think so. So, uh, oh no, Mowgli, that's the bottom. Um, yes, this is, is a one. really cool. This is a really cool set, and you could actually make your own backdrops. That's a really good idea. I kind of love that I idea. Love that idea. Our friend um, Minifig Chick, actually, um, yeah, makes her own photo backdrops for for um, her for, minifigure displays. Yeah, they're minifigs. awesome. Oh, you know what? And of course, I missed a piece because I wasn't paying attention. But check it out. We've got sorry, Drew. Sorry, Drew. What happened? Um, what? So there's a there is a black jump plate here and then a red jewel. Okay, this is hilarious. There's a red jewel and then this hinge with the stinky garlic tile <laughs> on it goes here to cover up the jewel if I don't knock it it's over. It's like a vampire vault. It's like a vampire proof vault <laughs> with stinky garlic that you have to lift up to be able to get to the jewel. <laughs> That's good. I, I'm going to do that. Oh, yes. Actually, Christopher, I have seen Toast of London, and it is ridiculous. And I recognize a bunch of people from different shows um, that I've watched. I watch, you know, not a ton of, but a fair amount of British TV. So I recognize a lot of these people from different things. And, yeah, Matt Barry is hilarious. I noticed that Brit with um, British TV, there's a lot more, like, like people do lots and lots of different shows. Like they, like yeah, people are yeah, the same. Yeah. People are on everything, which it's I like love. An ensemble sort of. Yeah, which is not like the um, the TV here in the U.S., which is very kind of. Wow, that was loud. Well, I, I think here <laughs> people get. Um, it might be work. Let's find out. Uh oh, it might be work. He might be called away. So, um, right. There, we got a little hinge on here, which means we're going to be building something extra onto this. All right. With this. Drew, I want to see that. Hey, that my mom's picture. here. Welcome. Hi, Hi Mom. Howdy. Glad she, you were, I know you were having trouble finding the, um, the stream, but we're here now. And I also just found out that we have, um, uh, I also just found out that we have, uh, no, I forgot what I was saying because oh, I heard no. the text going off and then I got distracted. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, we have like a permanent stream <laughs> message now. <laughs> Shane thought it was his text. No, yeah, that was us. We're so Pavlovian, right? Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, I don't even know where my phone is right now. Oh, I see. It's over here. There I'm we gonna go. I'm going to snatch it up just in case Ooh, there was something. Because our friend... Um, my my awesome friend Drew um, uh, texted us yesterday to let us know that the volume was down. And if you've been yeah. with us for any Dr amount of time, Drew you know Art. that we have a terrible time with the volume. Although I just discovered that you can like mute it. <laughs> oh so yeah, there's done. a there's a mute there's button. a mute button that you can just turn on and off <laughs> rather than turning the slider up and down. Well, I feel like smart people have already figured out a lot of cool things to do with this software. And I did oh. want to uh, remind people again that our friend Drew was the angel who brought this set right to our doorstep. I know he dropped it off on the on, on the doorstep like little Lego orphans, and uh, <laughs> they were um, <laughs> they were gladly taken in. Um, and and now we get to share them with all of you, which is so yeah, cool. Because yeah. I think like I know a lot of people build sets and stuff on YouTube, and I guess we're kind of doing a similar thing. Hey, Brick and East and Naomi's here. Hello, How, how's it hi, going? Naomi. Um, we, uh, so I apologize, um, you know, if we're kind of doing the same stuff everybody else is doing, but well, I'm excited that we have these, our own madness to we it. I'm glad that we have these like cool vintage sets that maybe people haven't seen put together mm -hmm. before or whatever. Yeah. So, um, 
Oh, Johnny saying hi. I love that. Like my like my friends and family are here. It makes it um it makes it really cool. So and now t- you're all our new friends and family. So welcome to the to the Tricky Bricks YouTube fame. I heard somebody. I saw somebody earlier in the stream saying hello, fellow tricksters, which I love. Oh, yeah, that made me that made me really happy. <laughs> so do we um we're looking for another jump plate, a black. Jump plate. I'm at like... the point where I'm just pushing bricks around. Yeah. Look here, we've got three black jump plates. Where do you want it? There. In the middle. Oh, okay. I'm super excited about this next part. So we're gonna put some slats using tiles across here, and now I always love this. So we get the um, round brick with a or sorry, a round plate with a skull in it. And I'll have you note that this is like the spooky looking skull, not like the happy. Oh, it's got like like not the happy fun time skull. Um, look, it's got sharp teeth and pointy like eye corner makeup. Yeah, he's like a, a much spookier than. She's like, got some liquid eyeliner skull. on. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Naomi. Yeah, it is a it's a total vampire theme today. Um, oh yeah, that's oh, right. Thank you, with... Shane. It's true. The people aren't us. Um, so yeah, we Who do made have your shirt, Flynn. Will Heron, he's amazing, and you should check it out. And hopefully, he's going to be making T-shirts for us of Kevin Hinkle's amazing artwork that he did of us as minifigures. So we're going to have T-shirts and stickers. Super, super excited about that. <laughs> What's that? Last night in in the things we do in the dark. The things we do in the dark, Wait, everyone. What's it, what's it the called? things we do in the dark. <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> I get things close. What is the name of that show? <laughs> the things we do in the show. That it's that teacher who was mean to Harry. <laughs> We're having fun today. Oh dear. <laughs> All right. Being a fool. Wait. So what is the name of that show? Uh, what we do in the shadows. What we. <laughs> where we what go? See who, where I what? went. Hey, okay. Legos for life. Welcome back. How's it going? I moved this up too far. We're just. We're just riffing yeah. here. We have no idea what so we're saying. So it's what until... we do in the shadows. And the guy is standing in the middle, the sort of muggle, if you will, is standing in the middle of the two vampires, and he goes, fingers crossed, <laughs> and they both like shoot. <laughs> <Yeah, I know. laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, this reminds me of one of those monster uh, generating cages in Minecraft. Yeah. That were so much the end of me until I turned it creative mode on. Um, Brickanista asking, mode. are we using StreamYard for your platform? We are not. Actually, we are using yeah. um, OBS, well, which is like a free software. Yeah, we're saving our pennies right now. Um, but I will say um, we are going to be starting... Nope, no, this isn't right. We're going to be starting um, a Patreon page where we're going to have like things like stickers and photos... Um, to give away to people who are able to help support the stream. And if we can get it going, we'll be able to uh, afford StreamYard and we could start having multiple guests on. So yeah, we're, we're, really, looking... we're really excited about, um, about the possibility of StreamYard just right now. It's a little yeah. bit out of our price range with everything that's been going on. But that's the next thing coming online um, is uh, being able to have guests. Yeah. Um, we're going to up our internet speed, so we're more in the 21st century. And... Wait, we've got pretty we've No, got we're pretty doing fast internet You know, all speed, in all, we've say. got the bridge of the enterprise on this little build table here. <laughs> but but we can, there's room for improvement. Where are white two white cylinders and flame pieces? Oh. Oh no, maybe those are gray. Thank you. Wow. Yes, they color are light printing gray. issues. Yeah, the color. Okay, so we're making these little sort of torches. All right. Wait, come back. Well, you bit. know, Joel, I know. I, I I was not like to me it's not vintage, but to a lot. I mean, it is. It almost twenty years old. It's an eighteen-year-old set. So like, it's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Kind of, unfortunately, kind of there. <laughs> All right. So I'm adding on these here. I'll put it this way so people can see. We're adding on little. Oh, I love that detail. The little flame, like little flame things on either side, right? Pretty cool. Nice. Um. 
I think it would be cool to have the winner of the build competition come onto the stream. You mentioned that, and actually we'll probably uh, do I that. I think we should do that, and they could talk about how they made their Yeah, piece. and actually StreamYard does rock, and yeah. actually we have, like, they give you, they do give you six hours free if you sign up for the free, but then once you hit six hours, that's it, yeah. and then you have to start paying for it. So I've been, like, being really frugal. We already did, like, an hour and a half. Um, yep, stream yep. with all the other Lego Masters like a long time ago and I definitely want to do it again but I want to make sure it's like a big thing um, let me see have you guys thought about allowing Super Chats to keep up on costs we actually have thought about um, hey Jeffy Zender how's it going uh, uh, we definitely wow. have um, Moto thought about uh, allowing Super Chats the only thing is you have to have a thousand subscribers before you yep. can um, have the Super Chats so that's why uh, another reason why we really want to try to hit a thousand subscribers, yep. so that we can um, do stuff like that, allow super chats, and have more, you know, more stuff to be able Oops. to offer um, our viewers and stuff like that. So it's a it's a tiered thing. Yeah. Right? So right like now, if you want to help out, steps. the best thing you could do is get people to subscribe to the channel, and yep. then um, and that'll definitely help us to the first step. Yep. Um, oh, hey. So hey, Ryan. Blaney Kid 12 I'm glad you liked us on the show. Thank you so much. Welcome. Um, hey, Flynn. We deserve a thousand. <laughs> That's very Why nice. don't you, talking about subscribers and, and things we can um, do with people, let's talk about the build contest. Right. So we have a build contest running right now. And I'm going to actually, we'll take a pause for a second and we'll move over to this camera. Just so I can show everybody what we're giving away, we are giving away a limited edition Batman 89 Batmobile. It was a gift with purchase if you bought like the big Batmobile, but right. I managed to get my hands on it. So um, and it comes with this rotating museum base and a sticker to go a on. Sticker here. that goes on it. So we are giving that away. If you want, we will autograph that big disc that the car sits on for you, if that's something that you're or interested if, in. Or if you don't want us to, we, we won't. won't. <laughs> um, uh, and then we have... Um, so we're having this... It's a superhero build contest. All of the info is actually in the description of this video. But yeah. I'm going to go ahead and scroll up and just read it out for anybody who maybe um, hasn't, you know doesn't know about it yet yeah build something so, there's time left yes so you're going to take a minifig of your choosing from your collection and make it a superhero uh you uh it does not have to be batman spider-man iron man it can be whatever whoever you want a unicorn a dog your male person a grocery checker a doctor be creative entries will be judged on storytelling creativity and technical ability um so the rules are you have to be subscribed to this channel to enter so please make sure you're subscribed yep. if you want to enter your model must not be bigger than a 32 by 32 stud base plate. Um, uh, that's at the ground level. If you have some like trees or something that hangs over yeah. the edge up at the top, that's fine. But only like three or four over the edge. Yeah, so All right? that's 10 by 10 inches. So the scene has to include one character as the hero. Additional characters are allowed. Um, entries yep. have to be submitted no later than tomorrow at noon. So there's still time. Um, Pacific Standard Time. And the two ways you can enter is you can follow us on Instagram, which is here. You can follow us on Instagram um, here. Um, and uh, you can tag us in the picture, and you can also use the hashtag uh, Tricky Bricks Build Contest. Um, the other way that you can do it is to email us, and that is at Flynn at TrickyBricks.com. Yep. So tomorrow like by email. noon, and we will be announcing the winner on Friday's live stream. So still plenty of time to enter. Well, they can. Oh, I guess it's actually it's too. Uh, they couldn't mail it to us, but we. But you can also tell people our PO box. Yes, in case we'll they do that. Ever. Yeah, and if oh, you we'll do have, that at the end. We'll do that at the end. Or actually, we can do it now. So and also too, I know people have expressed an interest in sending us um, fan mail or fan art and or cards, postcards and stuff like that. Yep. So if you want, we do have a PO box. Which you can see right here, P.O. Box one one five one seven, Oakland, California nine four six one one. So if you want to send us uh, something through the mail, that's how you can do it. Um, I always like getting mail. Like the only mail we ever get anymore are like bills. Yeah, so and, it's always and really fun. our bills are even <laughs> kind of invisible because everything happens automatically. Like it's just there's a whole 
electronic team. Shane, if you want to make tweaks on it and resend it in, feel free. Absolutely. Yep. I want Absolutely. To, I want everybody to make the best thing that they can possibly make. So to make that possible, like if you need to redo it and send it in again, uh, please do. Yeah, we make love, something. We want to see what you guys can do. Make something you're happy with that makes you, you know, feel really good or laugh or something that you're uh, really proud of. Absolutely. All right, so uh, let's go. Let's head back over to our build building. Build our build building. Um, we are building again. All right, so it looks like now. So we have oh, this. This we on. there. Right, and we are going to add a couple more pieces onto the top here, like this. I like. The, I really like these sand blue pieces. These are so yeah, cool. both the combination of the sand blue and the sort of yellowish dark gray is great. Yeah. Do we have another bat? Yes. And you want to... There we go. We got Ooh, the bat. Vampire All right, bats. Will. Uh, head uh, back to uh, work. Uh, Thanks uh. for joining us today. Oh, yes. Appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Um, okay. So this is what we got now. All right. Oh, with a spooky spider. Yeah, right with here, a spooky right. spider and a spooky bat. And they just have... Oh, does he have hair? Yes, there's his sort of like standard minifig. Oh, there we go. Very M. Parted on the side. Yeah, he just doesn't have the little... Calic. Um, little calic on the side. Right? And they just... I love that they show in the instruction book that this section of it, and then they just have like the picture of the guy. Not doing like, anything. just there. No. Who, so, <laughs> who is he? Like Jonathan Harker? Is he just... Hanging out. Oh, okay. My mom wants you wants you to tell wants me to tell the story of the glow in the dark Frankenstein. Does everybody want to? If you want to hear about the glow in the dark Frankenstein, I'll tell you the glow okay, in the I dark. I don't know if this is the same one, but I'm gonna get our glow in the dark monster. It's not the same one, but it's similar. I will say that. Okay, so here's the story about the glow in the dark Frankenstein. So I've always liked monster stuff and scary stuff, like ever since I was a kid, and. Um, I back then before it was before Lego I was doing I would put together plastic models you know and paint them and of course I had to have all the monster ones now they ended up like these were like those Ravel models and you would put them together and paint them and some of them had some of them had glow in the dark parts and this particular one I had was a Frankenstein that had glow in the dark head and hands like that was the only part that glowed and so I would keep it on my dresser, and then, of course, when I went to bed at night, when the lights went out, his hands and head would <laughs> would glow, and it would freak me out so much that I would get out of bed and put it in a drawer <laughs> so that I could go to sleep, and then, <laughs> then the next morning, I'd pull it back out of the drawer and put it on top, and it actually, yeah, it was kind of posed exactly like this. This is sort of a, this whole thing glows in the dark. Yeah, we actually it's have four monsters. The mummy. It's a repro of those old, of those old models, but like as a glow yeah. in the dark figure. It's so ridiculous. Yep. In our bedroom right now, uh, on the bookcase, we have um, Frankenstein's creature, the mummy. Bye, built from bricks. Uh, Thank you so Man, much for coming. And the mummy. Yes, but we, we do. don't have him in a mummy thing. We don't. He's not in. <laughs> 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 All right. So we're going to start now with um, building the rest of this. Let's see what we got here. So it looks like these corner, these like little corner bricks, which I love. They're great to use in landscaping. Um, I know, Legos for life. I was a ridiculous kid. Um, I'm still, I still am. I'm a ridiculous kid. That's pretty much sums it up. <coughs> um, well, you, I mean, you know, the thing about the Frankenstein thing, like it was, you know... It's fun to be scared, right? But also, like, it's scary to be scared. <laughs> yes, uh, Christopher, they are the based on the Universal Monster versions. Uh, when those models came out, I believe that was the, you know, that's what was around. So, yep. all right. So it looks like we're gonna we're the, got some technic going on. So we have these two uh -oh. little. I know. Uh -oh. You know what that means? Play function. It means play functions, and we've got one of these axles with a sort of stud head on the end of it. And we're looking for a one by two brick with a Technic hole and a one by one brick with a Technic hole. Uh, one by one. Nope, here's the one by two and the one by one. And then All we're right. looking for that funny little 
that, yeah. that thing. This little that thing. thing. I never know what to call it. That <laughs> T-shaped no. axle joiner. <laughs> Plate modified. Steve Parmley, you were skinny. you had to sleep over at a friend's house and you had to have his mom take it out of the room. <laughs> that is absolutely true. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. So, and, and I'm going to I'm going to tattle on Steve Parmley a little bit. Um not only did he make um, an amazing pie the other day that we saw pictures of. Yes. But Marilyn Parmley, Steve's wife has made a hundred masks um, for a um, either doctor or nurse um, on the East Coast, and I think it's just amazing. She spent so much time sewing. Yeah, that's um, really it's great. There, you will not find two nicer people than than the Parmleys. Thank you, and thank you, Marilyn, and thank you, Steve, for um, everything that you all do and are and continue to do. Um, okay. So... Steve does a lot of stuff in addition to pie making too. Yeah, well, well, yes, I mean he's <laughs> and he's he a is, great Lego he's builder. A fire, he is a fireman. Yeah, he's made amazing um, models of uh, fire trucks and firehouses, mm -hmm. among other things. All right, so we've got this little piece put together, and now we're going to put this onto it. Uh oh, I think Logan sees squirrels outside uh -oh. the window again. He's running back and you forth. You can always tell when Logan sees a squirrel because we have windows that run along one side of the house and he just runs back and forth from one window to the other. <laughs> like, he's, he's very ridiculous. All right, so it looks like, is there a toe ball? <laughs> what are you thinking? Okay, is this a sign of OCD that this makes me happier? <laughs> No, then, it's okay. not. It's not a sign of that at all. <laughs> Flynn has caught me um, rearranging his silverware perpendicular once. Just one once. time. <laughs> one time. That's all it took. One time. You put the kibosh on that kind of behavior. Okay, so it looks like we're... Oh, see, I keep taking it out of the picture. Oh, there we see, go. We're I'm putting right. this here. Play function... Yeah, so it looks like there's... Oh, okay, so you turn this little thing with the toe ball on it, and it lifts this piece up. So we'll see what it is. And then is this just a cube over here? Yeah, it looks like a two cubes. I don't, oh, we've got a cube there. Yep, right. And one here. Okay, and then a little... I always call these guys benches. Yep, I know. I think they're technically brackets. They're called, they're called brackets. So, um, oh, and y'all, I'm super excited. So I, um, I know if you've been on the stream before, you know, I write for the Brothers Brick and I've been, uh, I did my first set review, um, a little while back and now I'm, I'm doing my second set review and I'm getting, getting to review a couple of hidden side sets and I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Um, I, they just arrived today from Lego. They're like out on the back porch decontaminating. <laughs> right now. They're in the chamber. There. Sorry, is that good? What? Is that all right? Oh, that's so much better. No. I know in the picture that's it's better. crooked, but on the real... In the... <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite there. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked with... I've, I've had supervisors before who will put a level on work that I've hung up before. So in, the, in mm -hmm. my technical drawings, it has to be very precise. So oh, I'm turning this around this way. Yes. Oh, and this goes here. Uh, we know who is it we know, Flynn, who builds with is it is it Drew who sometimes builds with all of the Lego logos running? Not the same sometimes, direction? Mr. Drew. Really? Yes, Mr. Drew is um a that proponent is, awesome. is a proponent of having the Lego logos all the same direction as much as human yeah, possible. Yeah, That is dedication right there. Sorry, Drew, I didn't mean to like out you. No, Just, he's um, also maybe the most organized Lego he, builder I know. I agree with that. I agreed with that. Thank you, Maximus. Thanks for sending in your uh, your build contest. We will be taking a look at that um, tomorrow. We'll be taking a look at all the entries. I'm very excited. Ooh, more columns. I like the combination of this like truss work with these more sort of Art Deco columns. Right, because it's like a it's a movie studio, right? So it's got to be it's got to be functioning right. oh, in look. some way. Mm hmm. <laughs> Legos for life, awesome. Yes, Drew says always. That's what I thought. Yep, always good. All right, so now we are going to put this aside for the moment. 
and we are going to start using this funny little car sort of. I like that with the no. with the cutouts for wheels. Yeah. So oh, Drew, you must have better vision than me. <laughs> I use I use our video lights actually to see bricks. Oh yeah. Um, well, it when helps. we when we build now, I'm so used to nice work light. Okay, so we've got these. But I know I wish we had. I mean, we do have a dedicated Lego room, but I wish we had a dedicated Lego room, like one you could close the door on. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're not over cluttered. We're just one room shy. Yeah, one room need, shy, and it's the Lego. Room. And it's the Lego room. You know, our um, our basement is. Not, I mean, our um, basement holds our overflow storage, but our all the collections that room. used to be up here before Lego are now <laughs> <laughs> languishing in the basement. Oh my dear. Okay, so we got one of these. Now I have no idea. Again, I never. We don't look at the um, uh, the photos. Jake Animation Studios. How many entries do the, for the contest do we have? Um, I we I haven't don't know. we haven't tallied I haven't them tallied up them up yet. But I want to say maybe right now, like eight or nine. Oh, you're right, Mini Fig Chick. Where are our pins today? We haven't put. Yeah, our, you know what? I thought about that. And we haven't thought, put our no. Disney pins on today for today. And you know what? I didn't even think about that. I am okay, so careful. sorry. There's a there's a straight pin because I was doing that sewing project. It's been our game. It's been our game that we've been playing um, during oh, all this. Oh, sorry. Look at this. I'm putting it right over your model. That's okay. I think to keep things appropriate, I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull my haunted mansion uh, today just to keep it. Keep oh, it fair. you know what? Uh... There we go. Right, so I got this, um, this is a newer one I got last time we were there, but look at that awesome Haunted Mansion pen. Super psyched about that. Um, and oh, I'm, Thomas, and you'll go in the next contest. Absolutely, please. Um, and monorail. you're super new to Lego, you don't have a lot of minifigs yet, totally understandable. We, um, wow, I put that on all crazy. I don't know what the, oh, and it already <laughs> fell off. There you go. I like, you know, I like the magnetic backs that um, con badges have. Yes, we definitely Brickanista need more flair. Always more flair. Um, well, accessories. But right? this is also this is a little the little game we've been playing or a little thing we've been doing with our friend Kara to just keep things, you know, fun. Well, we've had so much fun at the Disney parks. We got to actually go, with them. We got to go after Bricks LA with a bunch of people from Bricks LA, yep. including the Parmleys. Including the Parmleys, Will yeah. Heron, who made this T-shirt. Yep. Um, our friend Gwyneth was there briefly, um, and golly, yeah, there's that, a lot. Was Holly super, was there. It was super fun. So we're just keeping a bit of that. Why have all the things we like to collect sitting on a shelf when we can just have them with us. Exactly. Right? We're digging deep in the house for fun and entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I may have to pull out the, the DVDs. Hey, Horned Owl, welcome. Um, you're wearing Flower Girl Mini. Awesome. Oh, you are nice. in the Lego sewing craft movie book game storage office guest room right now. <laughs> I'm familiar with that. Yeah, this is our sewing room too. Yeah, it's, it's true. true, Shane. We kind of like we kind of switched uh, Logan Cookie time and and pin intro time. Kind of switched oh, places. It's true. <laughs> we need a stage manager. Oh, jeez, do we ever? I mean, especially one that's like really good about time. Because... <laughs> yeah, get us to our places on time. Oh, thanks, uh, Joel Marbella. Thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Uh, yeah, come back, watch us tomorrow. We're here every oh, yeah. day at ten time. a.m. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Everyone out there in uh, YouTube viewing land, if you haven't, please subscribe to our channel. It really it's uh, really helps us out uh, with uh, with being able to uh, work with the public more, uh, that kind of stuff. So if you if you got an opportunity to uh, just hit that subscribe button, we would sure appreciate it. Yeah, it helps us out. All right, so it looks like this piece that we made is going onto this piece that we oh. made before. It raises up and down. Which is what this is for, right? So you can see that there's this little <laughs> trap door that opens up. I'm going to guess yes. that the coffin goes on there. And just like the guy in uh, the show last night, it's gonna it lifts it up, right? Will it hold it? No, it won't hold it. It though. won't hold it. Even if you do this? I think and you know what? We could be, we could be entirely wrong. Maybe it does. 
Maybe it just slides. <laughs> you think? Uh, let's no, see. No, look. Look, there. Okay, sh- can we look at we the box? We do have a stage manager. She just doesn't have a body or head or limbs. Well, yes, she has a hand. But I think she needs to be a little bit more proactive about um, keeping us on time. No, Dracula comes up out of there. Oh, Dracula comes up out of there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. We're about to do. We're about to do something crazy. We've got this. Oh, she's hiding. Sort her. of. Like this sort does. of funny piece, which I haven't really. I don't think I've like ever a used ball, before. A ball socket. Yeah, and then it gets a blue tile on it, and it fits in this little so like there's a space right here and apparently this fits in here like or that. it just pressure fit for some no i mean it's just it's completely loose in there it slides That's in and out very odd yeah all right i guess we'll learn um oh, oh with rubber here's, bands. here's our rubber band so we are seeing the intro of our rubber band yeah and these are definitely you know not to make too fine a point of it, but they have a different cross section than the kind you can use with pulleys. The ones with pulleys are a circular band, and these are very square. Yeah, these are very. Flat. They may be dry too. No, they're not. Actually, these are for being eighteen-year-old rubber bands. They are in really good sense. <laughs> They've moisturized. Hand Solo needs a watch. Actually, Hand Solo has um has dots bracelets. Dots bracelets. Yeah, and if I can get together some kind of <laughs> ring. <laughs> She's going to have a ring, too. We owe her We owe her a... Um... I know I've seen Lego rings. Didn't yeah, they... we just... We gave some... We actually got some from Drew, which we gave to Kara. Um, this is really fun, because this is how we... What is going on there? Oh, okay, so this is... It goes around both. It, it goes into... It, it does. It, oh, it goes around both sides. So it's going to hook on here. Yeah. Right? There. Then it's going to go into this groove in the middle of that weird piece. Oh, right on. And then it goes completely over both of these on this side as well. It helps if you have tiny hands. Oh, I see. So that when you when you go up... Oh, no. It doesn't. Oh, wait a minute. Something... Some, like, this is going to be some kind of like... It's some kind of like spring-loaded thing. I'm not quite sure. No idea. They got some... Clever oh, Cara, we don't there. need to, we don't we definitely don't need the ring back. Like no, we can no, find, not at all. We have you know, being from theater, we have like costume jewelry here and there. Um, okay, so yeah, let's... I actually um, I have uh, I have uh, a box of very pretty lady rings from a dear relative. Um, so maybe we'll get one of those sparkly ones. On herself. <laughs> herself. Because <laughs> I don't, you know, I wear, like, we've got these um, tungsten wedding bands. They're pretty basic here. I don't wear very sparkly jewelry. But she should. Okay, there we have another Lego bat on the top. And, okay, so what's really weird well, about this. Well, that's it? The, yeah, so it, it just ends there. <laughs> and, then, and then there's a comic. It creates friction on the column to keep the platform elevated. Oh, got ya. Okay. Oh, it just presses against the column. Who said that? Oh, oh Drew, thanks, of course. Drew. Right. So, so if the column is elevated. Oh, I get it. So this whole thing lifts up. Not only does it do this, but got it. So can you go like? Wow. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh. Excuse that's me, a everyone. Very, that's a very interesting play function, right? This thing moves up and down, but I gotta show. I gotta show you what's funny about this is that the um, that usually they will show you like what the play functions are. I guess they kind of do. Oh, I get it. They show you on the last pages kind of what the the play functions are. But before we do that, let's take a look at this. Um, I'm going to show you the the last pages. So this is what it shows you. It shows you the three pieces sort of all put together. Right? Hey, PD Brick Films, welcome. And it has a comic in it. And we can see that they are filming. This guy has a little, a little like, camera, like a pointing down camera. And there's our Igor character... 
And this is, I think this is what's going to show us how we do this. So Igor is knocking on the, <laughs> the thing. Is knocking on the coffin, the thing. Here I go again. Um, and I love that their sound effect for the creaky opening is upside down zigzag exclamation points. I, okay. Um, and Dracula comes out. He dusts himself off while Igor is like struggling to put the lid back on the coffin. Um, he exclaims, possibly cursing. Um, and then he wants dinner, and then someone's singing outside. It is our guy with the with the tan suit, and he's like, "Oh yes, dinner." And then we have this great. I think this is my favorite panel of the whole comic. Everyone, the Dracula minifig changing into the Lego bat. <laughs> it's super awesome. And then let's see what else happens. Um, our guy, who's looking kind of green, you can't see it in the image you guys are seeing, but he looks green to me. We get, he retransforms back into Dracula, he threatens the guy, he holds up the stinky garlic tile, Dracula is so shocked that his hair flies off, and then the guy chases him down <laughs> the road <laughs> with the stinky garlic tile, and there's like, um a truss with a moon hanging off the back. I don't know, you guys. Um, so it shows here that we can, we've got all of our minifigures and it shows us that we can change the guy's heads around, but they have two-sided heads. You don't see that anymore in the instructions. And then finally, it kind of, sort of shows us the, um, it kind of, sort of shows us the play functions. It shows, um, the two things together. Oh, I see. I see. So apparently what's supposed to happen is we have this piece. And here, you know what? I'm going to switch over here. And I'm going to move here to the middle. And I'm going to tilt this down so you can see. This is how we usually do our front things. So I've got my um, thing with the stairs. Facing this way, I'm gonna I'm gonna build it towards me just so that I don't get confused. Oh, I see. Okay, here we go. So here is your your movie set, right? And Dracula's coffin is apparently just kind of hanging out up here, right? Then you can you can slide the coffin over to the elevator because elevator and then <clears throat> you remove this piece you slide your um oh you bring your cart over because you need your cart with igor right cart with igor then we bring down our um our elevator and then we turn our little knob to slide <laughs> the coffin onto the cart. <laughs> this is hilarious. And then, um, and then Igor can take the cart. <laughs> take it away. So there you go, everyone. That is our vintage set that we put together to get today. I know vintage is all in the eye of the beholder. We've got Igor, we've got Dracula. I don't know where Tan Suit Guy went. Oh, here we go. We got Tan Suit Guy over here, and and actually, um, Igor, instead of having like a hump on the back, actually has a. Yeah, that slide is so weird. Um, he has a he backpack. actually has like a little backpack, you know, instead of a hump. He's got like a little backpack that he can carry bones or whatever in, I guess. So Whoa. there's our there's our set. Did you figure out all the play functions um, when I was gone? Yes, um, I, I exampled it to everyone. And I will show you. We can when, look at that after, later after we sign up. Oh wait, you're missing the main. You're missing the backdrop. You know, Igor does need short legs, and oh, and you know what? I got their um, we got their legs mixed up. The the crew guy has the blue pants. I thought it was weird that Igor had blue pants. Um, he gets the black pants. 
and our yep. crew guy gets the blue pants to match his charming hat. I do um, like that the background is reversible. But I think you're right. I think that would be a massive improvement. A massive improvement is if Igor had short legs. And you know, we have plenty of black short legs that I think that we can probably um, we can probably work that you out. Know, you know what else is a massive go. improvement? Look What's at that? this. Uncross your arms for a second. Um, and lean back over the model again, is that this, that your bat was looming over the entire <laughs> set. <laughs> That's an improvement. <laughs> That's our own personal backdrop. <laughs> oh, let's see. All right, everybody. Thank you so All much right. for joining us. And I think, why not tomorrow, let's continue in the, the Lego Studios groove. And we are going to, oh, I just had it. Oh, here it is. We are going to put together oh, knocking all these the over. Lego Studios, the Frankenstein's Lab. I oh, think it has cool. its own name. It doesn't say. Oh, Scary Laboratory. Scary Laboratory. Again, a gift from our friend Drew. Very generous. Super kind. Oh, and if um, you look, there's Frankenstein who's similar to the one on yeah, your shirt. So you get the Will Herrin. Yeah, uh, Kevin Hinkle. Oh, drew. excuse me. Kevin yes. Hinkle. Kevin <laughs> Hinkle. <laughs> right. Sorry, Will Herrin t-shirts. Kevin Hinkle drawing amazing things. Uh, I don't know if they had short legs d uh, back then, stud. I d I haven't um I haven't done that research, mm -hmm. but I'll have to I'll have to look it up. It's going to be time to start doing research. Oh, and look, uh, Logan is here He's to say back. goodbye to. He's ready for us to be paying. He understands when things yes. are changing. It means it's <laughs> time for tug. All so, right. um there's thanks there. everybody for joining us just one last time. Uh mm -hmm. Please subscribe right. to the channel if you're not already subscribed. We would really, really appreciate it. It'll help us out, help us engage with you more. Um, you can follow us on Instagram and see our work for mm -hmm. with, at, at Tricky Bricks. You, mm -hmm. can, uh, let, oh, uh, you can email us, if you want, at Flynn at TrickyBricks.com. And, uh, right yes, we will post a compilation of the submissions, yes. And oh, please absolutely. Submit your, your uh, submissions for the build contest. You can email us at uh, flynn at trickybricks.com. And if you want to send us any fan mail or cards or whatever, you can do that at our P.O. box, which is below. So, uh, box 1157, Oakland, California, 94611. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe. Stay healthy, wash, wash your hands, hands, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Right. Bye, Have everybody. Have a great day. Have a great <laughs> one.